There are days that you don't even feel like moving even you know how necessary that you need to be active and healthy. You might have a to-do list but you are struggling to complete it. Sometimes we need to find motivation to complete it but sometimes it's better to just stop for a moment and recharge yourself by doing what you really enjoy and then you're gonna feel more ready when you come back to do the task later. I found a very creative way that become one of my strategy to deal with laziness is becoming lazier to stay more productive and healthier. Especially is effective if you are having too much on your plate and don't know where to start. I call it self-creative on art therapy. In this video, we will learn the basics of art therapy, what is it and how to apply it to your daily routine by four simple creative exercises. I hope after watching this video, you will try to experience it yourself and then you can come back later and tell me if it also work for you. However, if you are suffering a more serious condition, you might need to seek the help of a licensed therapist. Now before we learn it, let's discover what is art therapy. The American Art Therapy Association defines art therapy as an active art making, creative process, applies psychology called theory and human experience within a psychotherapeutic relationship. In other words, we use art form to address the whole self and engage the imagination in support of healing, growth, and well-being. There are four main types of art therapy including music engagement, visual arts therapy, movement-based creative expression, and expressive writing. In this video, I will show you how I applied each type into my daily routine to be more productive and healthier, even before I know how to name it. It is truly simple that you don't really need to do anything in order to complete it. And that I called being lazier to be healthier. The first method is meditation and music. Music can lift your mood and also slow your breathing. And meditation helps to calm your body and mind. Combining music and meditation can deepen the positive effects of both and bring you greater stress relief. It might be simpler and less stressful than other forms of practice. Let's try by finding a good position. Close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale one more time. And exhale deeply. Listen to the music and let it present with you in this room. Now focus on your breath again. Inhale and exhale. And it is okay if you feel distracted by any external sound of life. Just inhale and exhale. You can open your eyes and see things with music. Let the calmness in the rhythm guide you through your awareness and know that you are amazing. I hope you already feel more relaxed with this short meditation and now let's move to the second method write down your feeling I normally write down to answer three questions how am I feeling now why do I feel that way how long have I had the feeling but before it I always have a list of 10 to 20 emotion words in case I can't really name it and sometimes when I feel like it's hard to express myself my emotion through words I often use the third exercise drawing. I actually draw a lot with or without a pen, with shape or no shape and no worries if you feel like you don't have any talent in drawing. 
because you don't even need a pen to do that. Now let's just close your eyes and start to draw your portrait by your own imagination. Who are you? Which color are you wearing? Are your eyes closing or open? Are you smiling or sleeping? The more details that you can draw, the more you can understand about your feeling in such a way that no words can explain. So I said I will share with you four different exercises for each type of art therapy, but I feel like I want to share this extra one with you, photography and filming. You may wonder why I start to do lots of content related to self-care lately. It is definitely because I want to help many of you who need it, but also because being creative with video shooting and all the beautiful nature from where I live are a kind of art therapy that I do for myself, which helps me to overcome sadness sometimes while being in a distant relationship and live on my own in this city. Now let's move to the last lazy therapy that related to movement-based creative expression. You might discover your internal thoughts and emotions through your body and your movement. For example, if you are stressed because you have so many things to do, goals to complete, but just a little time, your body might express it by a tense neck and jaw, or intense and focused eyes, or may even have tension on your shoulders. So the more you work on body movements and learn to aware of your own body, the more ideas and new ways can come up to cope with the challenges. Here's a little homework for you that you can try immediately. Now check your position right now. Are you sitting? Are you lying down? Are you standing? And ask yourself what is the easiest thing to do while you are in this position and then do it and then ask yourself again what is a little bit more challenging things that you can do but still easy in this position and try to do it for example if you are sitting lifting your arms up properly the easiest now let's get more challenging by trying to lift one leg up and then two with your core engaged so your spine will be supported now if you want to take it to the next level, try to apply it to anything that you are doing even if it's some weight goal that you want to lose or gain or even if it's some work that you try to complete within a day. Remember to do the easiest work first and then you can add up some challenging step by step. Now if you feel motivated after watching this, probably it's time to try a real workout on my channel. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it means a lot to me. So I see you in the next video. Bye!